Okay, I just want to make a quick video uh, detailing some of the issues here with the uh, the NC shotgun, the uh, the mag scanner, scatter mag. Uh, a lot of people have been complaining about it because you know it's a one hit kill. And uh, is it? Yeah, sure. Right in the head, bam, dead. Cool. Okay, but really, how often are you going to be right up on somebody's nuts and shooting them in the head, hitting every single one of your pellets on a target that's not moving? Uh, not very frequently. So let's say in an actual combat scenario, probably about, you know, 15 feet or so. Okay, how does it do in this condition? Not exactly amazing. Um, probably a little bit worse than a semi-shotgun does. So, okay, what happens if uh, you get a close to a target, you get snuck up on him, but, you know, once again, they move, they spidey send to the last moment. Oh, look at that. You miss half your pellets, there goes your one-shot kill. So you have to be right up on somebody. You have to be firing and hitting with all of your pellets. And if it's due to lag comp or them moving at the last moment or anything to that degree, you're not going to get a one-hit kill. So... I mean, yeah, okay, so uh, yeah, it, it sounds okay. It's basically like a semi-auto shotgun you can carry as a sidearm. Great, awesome, fantastic. You know, you can kill somebody fast enough that they can't react. Well, realistically, you're probably going to need that second shot. But let's say you get up on somebody, yeah, they can't react. Okay. But what about... Well, look at that. The, uh, the good old underboss, another little secondary weapon. Uh... Kind of like the Commissar fires a bit faster, a little bit less damage, though. Um, this fires... Okay, there's six rounds. But uh, let's see what happens... You know, do you think you'd have enough time to react to that? I and mean, getting up close to somebody with a shotgun and, you know, blast them in the back of the head, you know, obviously if you hit them, all the pellets, they die instantly, they can't react. But really, how is that any different? Is there anything meaningful you could do in that amount of time. I don't think there is. And on top of that, you can do it from a distance. You can do it with six rounds in the magazine. Um, so really... Okay, well, maybe the underboss is, you know, the outlier here. Yeah, it can't kill instantly, uh, you know, damn near, but... Okay, maybe maybe it's, you know, just the uh, the shotgun and the underboss. Maybe maybe the underboss needs to be nerfed, too. Well, I mean, we know for a while that, uh, you know, this uh, this crossbow here... Um, some people like it, most people don't. But uh, the big issue is that you can only headshot infiltrators with it. So you can only kill infiltrators with it instantly. Everybody else will survive with a bit of HP. Well, there is a way to instantly kill even heavies with it, and that is to shoot a knife. You can knife almost instantaneously. Basically, whenever you knife, it's you pressing the button that causes the attack, not the animation. So it's going to go out as soon as you hit that, which means you can kill somebody pretty much instantly. Once again, though, you can do it from quite a range. Well, not the instantaneous kill, but yeah, you can hit somebody with this from quite a distance. You have all the versatility that comes with the uh, the bolts, the tracking bolts, and the explosive bolts for max and vehicle damage. So, really, you can do all kinds of things um, to kill somebody almost instantly in close quarters. It doesn't really matter what weapon you're using. Um, let's go with the NC Rebel, which is a, uh, I believe, 250 damage pistol. And, uh, 250, sir, it's pretty cheap, simple, you know, uh, 10 round mag. But consider another two shot kill if you're hitting somebody in the head. That's pretty damn fast, too. I mean, really... How are these things that kill you near instantaneously um, any worse than the things that do kill you instantaneously? Uh, I mean, the whole the whole debacle with the shot knife and the commissar, or the, well, as my buddies call it, but the commissioner, um, that was you could shoot somebody in the chest and then knife them, and they would die. But if you shoot somebody in the head with almost any pistol, aside from the lowest damage, most generic pistols, and then knife, they will die. 
it it you know it virtually doesn't matter. You shoot somebody in the head and knife them, they will die. Uh, you shoot somebody twice with a relatively high damage weapon, like the uh, I believe the uh, Cerebus would fall into that category. The Rebel, obviously, um, the Underboss, the Commissioner. Those will also kill somebody near instantaneously. So tell me, really, what is so OP about a subpar semi-shotgun that other things kill just nearly as fast? And the only real niche, the only really amazing thing you can do is kill somebody if you just execute them. Just, just shove the gun up to the back of their head and pull the trigger. Anything else? You miss a couple pellets? No, they survive. You hit them in the chest? No, they survive. Um, they dodge around a bit. You know, you're gonna miss pellets and you're not gonna get it. And it's it's slow firing. It's uh, the reload's not too terrible, but really it's just uh, this super niche weapon that everybody just thinks is gonna be terrible, and it's not. There's already plenty of other things out there that outclass it. This isn't even a very good weapon. It's just a really really niche weapon. I mean, let's say if you were seriously trying to fight somebody in close quarters, you know, you run into a building, there's a guy right there, oh, take out my pistol, blow off a couple of shots. I mean, look how long that took me to kill him. Now let's say, you know, an actual combat shotgun, say the Mauler, see if we can find another target at the uh, 10 here, much faster. I mean, it's a subpar semi-shotgun that's only claim to fame is that it's a one-shot kill if it's point-blank in their face and you don't miss a single pellet. That's not OP, guys. 